Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Are you guys ready? I kind of am right now. A handful of things are being released today, like VHS 1994 or VHS 94 uh, from RLJ Entertainment, a new you know horror anthology uh, right here, along with. Most likely the biggest release of the week, which is Jackass Forever, uh, being put out by Paramount Home Entertainment. I don't know if there's going to be different retail exclusives, uh, exclusives or not when they come to this title, but uh, I love this one. I ain't going to lie. I always like the Jackass and the CKY. But are we also getting Heavy Metal uh, being released today for the first time on 4K, along with like Heavy Metal 2000 and a steelbook from Sony. Uh, there's some. There, I think there's a couple of other things, but we're going to head out to some of the stores today, see what we come across. And uh, hopefully we find some good things. But if you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, check out my newest video that I put up this past weekend. Going to the Hollywood Autograph Show. You know, meeting up with some friends. Talking to some of the actors and celebrities that were there. Like Marla Gibbs from the Jeffersons and 227. Uh, Nikki Blonsky. Uh, Leah Thompson from Back to the Future. Make sure you guys check it out. I have a link for it in the description box in case you guys missed it. If you do watch it, go back over there give it a thumbs up along with this video, but uh, let's get on out of here, see what we come across. Heading on over to the first stop of the day, the local Walmart. Just made it in here right now, taking a look at the new release rack, seeing what they got going on. They have the new movie, Sereno, Sereno the Bergerac, whatever, this one's starring, of course, Peter Dinklage. Uh, looks like the Blu-ray, uh, or they didn't, they didn't get a Blu-ray, they only got like a DVD version of it. For, for some reason, I thought this was gonna be the Blu-ray section for it, but it's for Spider-Man. This is a movie I'm kind of interested in seeing. Um, I didn't get a review copy or anything like that, so I may have to wait on it until like after the move, whenever that happens. But I, I, I always like the, the story of Cyrano and uh, to have Peter Dinklage play that character. It, it could be kind of interesting. Have anyone, have any of you guys seen it? Uh, let me know. Of course, they still have the Spider-Man No Way Homes up here. They have this new Naomi Watts movie called The Desperate Hour uh, that came out from Vertical Entertainment, a DVD version of it. Um, I know this wasn't on the store shelves. Uh, last week that that could that could be something uh, to look forward to in the future but of course jackass forever blu-ray uh, the DVD and stuff for some reason I don't think I don't I really don't think there's gonna be a retail exclusive or anything like that but I really do I really do like the jackass movies they were, they're stupid but they're a lot of fun really a lot of fun but some of the other movies that came out today that they have is the, only the DVD version of a VHS 1994 no blu-ray of that they have that one I'll get that one in a second I uh, actually I have the Blu-ray at home, but you know I'll put that back in a second. And they have uh, Bleed With Me, the new Shudder original uh, film that's put out by what RLJ. But uh, for some reason, like from the, this cover, I'm just like, Ginger Snaps? Just made it on over to the Goodwill. Let's head on in, see what they got going on. This is the media section at the Goodwill. It's across the street uh, from the Walmart I go to. I'm trying to see if they have anything uh, in here. They have a the little section of... Uh, uh, Blu-rays like Columbiana, some HD DVDs, Trolls, I don't know, the, my, my niece and nephew like the Trolls movies, I, I don't know, maybe I'm too old for them, of course, but uh, there's just a handful of things in here, nothing, nothing too crazy, but uh, I'm going to look through some of the DVDs here and hope to come across something cool to maybe add to my eBay store or add to my, my collection. But guys, I have a lot, a lot of lot of stuff going on in my mind right now with with family and 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 the move and things like that. I may make a video talking about what's what's kind of happening and stuff like that. But uh, make sure you guys check out the eBay store. I'll have a link for it down below if you guys want to help support it all. I have a handful of things on there uh, right now, like over 200 items, I believe, or maybe a little less. But if you guys would like to see what I have on there, I'll have a link uh, in the in the pinned comment. Uh, of the video here and uh, a link in the description box but uh, yeah if I find anything cool I'll definitely let you guys know just got out of the goodwill right there didn't come across anything it's pretty much the same stuff they had the last couple weeks nothing new that stood out to me that I needed to showcase to you guys or even buy for myself or for eBay or anything like that let's see what Best Buy has to offer today shall we it doesn't look like they uh, got a whole lot of stuff in today uh, when, when it comes to the new releases I checked a big um, you know, new release movie display when I walked in and nothing was there. Looks like they only have a couple things here today. Um, like the, what's it called, uh, Jackass, uh, Forever, uh, Blu-ray only uh, for uh, $19.99. And a movie from Lionsgate called Humans, or The Humans, 
right here with Amy Schumer, uh, Richard Jenkins. Um, for a second, I thought this might be A24, but this is just straight Lionsgate right here. I don't think I've ever heard of this film uh, before, but I like the, I like the cast uh, that that's in it. But these are the only two uh, new releases that I see that uh, you know the the Beast has today. Not really much else going on in here. It's getting harder and harder to find things these days. But what what can we do? This is kind of cool. This has been sitting here for a while. I have this one on Blu-ray, but this is like the steel book from uh, Mill Creek and stuff. This movie's corny and stupid, but like in one of those like really fun ways that I always liked from when I was like a teenager growing up when that one came out. Uh, that, I don't know. I, I like the I like those crazy things. Like this, this like how I like the old school Mortal Kombat. This is of course the the remake of Mortal Kombat steel book. They still have a handful of those, but like you know movies like the Mortal Kombat ones from the 90s. I have like a soft spot in my heart for stuff like that, and I I, I always will. Twenty one ninety nine for the the four K steel book. That's not a bad deal. The movie's not amazing, but you know I didn't hate it. Over at the last stop of the day, the Hope of the Valley thrift store. Let's see if they have anything new in there today. Coming up on a little section that has movies, but then I saw like a little hoodie here. Oh, Jeff Dunham, little Jeff Dunham hoodie. But uh, yeah, they have the DVDs and uh, stuff on this shelf now, and one on the other side. So let's see if we find anything uh, today when it comes to physical media hopefully they maybe they got some new stuff in a Christmas story 2 what is this body of lies lucky ones yeah there's some new stuff but this this one was kind of rare at one time for you guys that don't know but I don't know about it I don't know about any more but yeah this some blu rays nothing spectacular off the bat here the BFG the getaway hmm Life of Pi, Batman. Yeah, I'm. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm a still dig through this. I saw this. What's this? There was somebody. I think that follows my videos. or was asking me about this, or was it? I think it was Lord of the Rings, though. But this is the extended edition of The Hobbit on uh, on Blu-ray. Hmm. If if you're watching, message me now. I might, I might have to come back here if this is what you were looking for. Never mind. Uh, this one's not complete. It's like missing missing some discs and stuff like that and inner artwork. So, even if it was a, uh, a viewer that messaged me earlier, it's not there. It is not there. But still on the hunt seeing if there's anything cool in here though. They even got the Flamingo Kid in here. This was going for something at one point. Oh look, it, it has a Zia record sticker on it. <clears throat> it has a Zia record sticker on it. Those guys are only in I believe Las Vegas and there's these ladies like digging through like glassware uh, that just got pulled out and stuff making kind of all sorts of noise at the moment so forgive me on that uh, if it gets too loud over here you know just still trying to see if there's anything you know decent getting I still can't believe they made a sequel to without a paddle the first one was okay but like I never thought it really needed a sequel or anything like that or like a you know a, a loose kind of sequel the Cara Burnett show right here. Oh, they even got a copy of a hairspray uh, right here. I got to meet the, the actress, Nikki Blonsky, this past weekend uh, in the video that I made. Uh, the Actually, the last video I uploaded, if you guys haven't seen, seen it yet, make sure you guys check it out. I meet Christopher, Christopher Lloyd as well uh, in there uh, in that last video I put up. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot to pick from in here today. They do have Almost Heroes, which is, uh, you know, of course, Chris Farley's uh, last movie that he made before he passed away. This one was this one was okay. It's not one of my definitely not one of my favorites of his. That's okay though. I can't always come across something uh, at these places. But let's head on home and let's talk about the uh, Blu-ray I got sent that I watched, the Jackass Forever one that I got sent from Paramount that came out today. Let's head on home and talk about it. All right, guys, I'm back home now. I'm about to talk about some Blu-rays and DVDs and 4Ks and stuff that I was sent, uh, you know, by different companies and PR companies that send me things. Um, I have this one right here that I got sent about a week or so ago uh, from Paramount. This is Jackass Forever, and uh, I, I've always loved the Jackass uh, movies and, the t of course, the MTV show and the CKY, which was like, you know, Bam's thing uh, before it was, there was turned into Jackass and added Johnny Knoxville to it. But uh, this right here is just, uh, you know, more fun. Doesn't have Bam Margera in it. 
uh, right here, there's like a whole controversy about, you know, Bam suing like Paramount and like Jeff Tremaine, the director uh, of this movie because of, you know, uh, him not being in it or not, you know, because of like his, you know, his drug problems and stuff. Um, there's like a whole lot of drama behind, you know, uh, this one right here. Like even Johnny Knoxville suffered a big concussion from this stunt right here getting hit by a bull, which he's, you know, always tried to do in like past movies and, and, on, and on a TV show. And this one, the bull really nailed him in here. Uh, there's a lot of really funny segments in this. Uh, special feature-wise, you get a good amount of, uh, what's it called, um, you know, deleted scenes, like, you know, added, added um, you know, little bits that they did uh, that were kind of funny. But the only thing is that I hate about the, the way that they did this is that they don't have a play-all option on here. All it is is deleted scenes. That's, that's the only thing you get is deleted scenes. There's nothing, there's, looks like there's like a lot of special features, but it's just like for, they marked off for each deleted scene. And I wish I had like a play all button. So it's just like every two minutes you have to like, or three minutes you have to like, you know, click the button again. But uh, I, ha I, had a, I had a great time watching this. I've always been a fan of Jackass and I really suggest you guys check this one out. But if, uh, if you guys don't like penis, you, 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 this, this, this might, you know, uh, upset some people. And uh, these are some of the other titles, like I said, that came out today. I haven't got around to watching these yet because I've been, I mean, I'm going through like family problems, uh, a move. And, um, you know, things, things are not really shaping out uh, perfectly over here. It's, you know, it's just been really kind of stressful. So I've been having a hard time catching up on some, uh, you know, review products and things. But I was sent, um, you know, VHS, 19, you know, VHS 94 uh, that came out today, you know, th from RLJ Entertainment. Uh, like I said, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. It says, you know, five stories and one nightmare. Of course, there's a horror anthology uh, Blu-ray right here. Uh, if you guys like those kind of things... You know, give it a give it a watch. I also I was also sent this by Sony, the Steelbook, uh, 4K of Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000. And um, I think I think Heavy Metal 2000 is only on Blu-ray. I don't think there's a 4K uh, in this set right here. I haven't had a chance to open it or even you know uh, pop it in yet or anything like that. But the Steelbook looks uh, absolutely amazing. And I want to say thank you to Sony for sending this, just in case I forget, you know, to watch and review them and stuff. Doing you know during all this craziness that's happening right now. Uh, but I did get to watch these two movies right here. Uh, the first one right here is uh, Sent from Paramount. I had it for a while. And that is Coming to America, the sequel to Coming to America from the 80s. Uh, I think it was like one of the main movies that made Eddie Murphy a star. And you get a lot of the returning cast members in here. Uh, like, you know, Arsenio Hall, uh, you know, James Earl Jones playing his, you know, Eddie Murphy's father. And uh, in this movie, at the beginning of it, Eddie Murphy's being crowned king of Zamunda because his father just passed away. And he comes to find out that he has a Ill illegitimate son uh, that he had back in the 80s uh, when he had sex with a woman when he traveled to New York in the original film. And um, that's going to be the, the, the new prince, but he's never met his son and he's going to travel to, you know, meet his son and figure out, you know, where to go uh, with his life. Um, this one is definitely not as funny or as classic as the original film. Uh, I did have some, you know, it did have some light, funny moments in it. I did enjoy it, but it's definitely not as like rewatchable um, as the as the original film right here. It looks good and sounds good here on Blu-ray. Uh, special features is commentary by the director, a uh, little making of special feature and a, and a trailer gallery on here. It's all right, nothing, not, nothing to write home about. And the next one up over here I had for a while too, and that is the 4K of The Matrix, uh, the, the newest one right here. Uh, resurrections and uh, this one is it, it's kind it's kind of wacky is it's kind of like to me all over the place I know there's like a whole thing about like the the person that made this movie the director was uh, you know didn't really want to make it but Warner Brothers like I guess had an obligation or you know I, I don't know it's, it's like a whole mess behind this one as well uh, but it's just kind of a all over the place kind of uh, you know, kind of movie, and there's like a lot of jabs to Warner Brothers from the director in this movie. I don't know how the how that how the person got away with it, and um, you know, like you know, like making a little. I, 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 you have to watch the movie to see, to know what I'm talking about. It does look nice and sound cool, look amazing on 4K and stuff, but it also has a, a quick cameo by Christina Ricci uh, in here, like you know, two or three lines, like like you know, three or four lines or whatever. But she, she pops up in here for a second. I'm like, what the? Christina Ricci's in here? You know, kind of thing. But uh, you have to find out like, who is now the chosen one or the one. Because, of course, you get Trinity in there still from the original, uh, from the original film. I don't know. It, it just felt like it was just kind of like phoned in. 
You know what I mean? No, no, nothing, nothing beats the original uh, Matrix from 1999 or whenever that was that when, when it came out and stuff. But thank you, Warner uh, Brothers, for sending that on over. Has some decent special features on there, but it's just, I'm not going to lie, it's nothing to write home about uh, when, it, when it comes to that movie. Nothing, nothing super special, you know? Uh, but the next one up over here, I haven't even opened yet. I, I got it sent from uh, Lionsgate a couple days ago, uh, and that is Moonfall. Uh, here on, uh, what's it called, 4K Blu-ray uh, set right here. I got to see this one in the movie theater, and um, I saw it actually with my homeboy, OGP, uh, when I was in San Diego. And uh, it was cool. It was actually kind of cool. Uh, there's like little, um, like Stan Stanley Kubrick, you know, like kind of like feel and vibe and like, you know, uh, influence in, in this movie a little bit. And uh, it's about the moon that, you know, got off its orbit and it's now coming towards the earth and stuff. Kind of like, you know, like Armageddon and like those, you know, Deep Impact, you know, kind of sort of movies, End of the World, you know, kind of movie stars, uh, you know, Holly Berry and Patrick Wilson. And, um, you know, it's, Patrick, Patrick Wilson plays a, a guy that, you know, uh, used to like, you know, I don't even know what you would call it, but, you know, um, survey, you know, uh, go into space and stuff like that until you know something you know really bad happened when he was up there uh, He was he had a relationship with Holly Berry and uh, you know like something happened You have to watch the movie to find out but then years later the the you know the moon's coming and uh, they need his help The world needs his help. Uh, it's kind of fun if you like you know end of the world, you know disaster flicks Really solid. I think this was directed by Roland Emmerich too if I'm not mistaken the guy that's always making those disaster movies Yep Roland Emmerich, the same guy, um, but yeah, I, I, I liked it. I liked it for what it was. As, like I said, I haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. I can't tell you, you know, uh, you know what, like, what the special features and how cool, if they're cool or not. But you get audio commentary track by the, the director, El Roland Emmerich, and composer. You get a making of special featurette and more uh, on here with, with the slipcover and everything. I think this one comes out next week, if I'm not mistaken, in stores everywhere. Um, but that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today uh, for this video. I just wanted to showcase some stuff because I'm going through that move and I don't want to like lose anything and miss anything, you know. But uh, yeah, those are some of the things I got recently from the different companies that send me things to talk about. Uh, some of them, like I said, I didn't have time to watch or even open yet. But um, keep your fingers crossed for me and my family. Hopefully we find, uh, you know, find something soon. Uh, I might make a video talking about... Some stuff, not everything, because there's like, you know, personal family stuff that I'm not just going to get out there and, and, you know, talk about and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, I, I'm just trying to, we're just trying to get by, we're just trying to exist, you know, but any anything helps when you guys watch the videos by leaving a comment, they always hitting a thumbs up on my videos if you guys do enjoy them, that always helps, and everything like that, and I'm going to try to keep on pumping out videos for you guys as long as you guys like watching them, but thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you on the next one.